Now he's on your radio. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? No, I totally expected it. I think he's so handsome. I think... Ain't nobody got time for that. Rock that, homie. The Tony Cam Radio Show starts now. So we playing that in honor of for you, Jamil. Yeah. Because you back. <laughs> yes, I am. You've been gone. Yes. Yeah, you a female week. gangster. I am. You've been to Detroit. That's true. <laughs> Came back. Born and raised. Came back oh, from I love Detroit. That. Born and raised. Born and raised. <laughs> Let me just throw that in. Yeah. Did you bail them out? No. Come on. All that money we gave you to take. What'd you do with that bag of money we gave you? There were pennies, Justin. though. It was just no, pennies. No, no hey, I didn't take it. I didn't do nothing with it. It was no. a bag of pennies. Me, I Justin, like, oh. me, Justin, and Be Rich gave you that bag of money to take to Detroit as our offering. Oh, I thought it was to out. protect myself downtown. Oh, oh, That's what I had my bag of She'd be of swinging pennies. the so bag of words, pennies. In other words, what you're saying to me... Watch your arm with that. In other words, what you're saying to me is... The city officials never got a dime of that money that we sent them no. to help bail out. I took it to the casino after I changed it. <laughs> oh, wow. so you, uh, you have to make a hey, trip. Wait, that's helping the economy. It is. I, I don't like know, it. but it ain't helping Detroit's economy. Obviously, it's in Detroit. I Detroit. know, but the, the the casino ain't helping them. Back right over to the mob in, yeah. in Detroit. Wow. So, can you tell a difference there? Since Elizabeth? no, it's my city, like. It's been in trouble for a long time. So she's like, look, this is my city, though. Have you ever run into Barry Gordy, Mm Dana? We saw, um, who did we see? Tommy Hearns. Um, We ran into him at the same house. Hitman Hearns. Yeah. So we saw him this so, time. We so if y'all didn't know, y'all listen to the Tony Cam radio show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Instead of the not show. the Jamil show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, we just welcoming Jamil back show. Jamil. Because <laughs> last week, I just want y'all to know, AJ, you weren't here. Diesel wasn't here. Jamil wasn't here. And we made light of it as it was men's week. Yes. We were having a great time. Yes. We really... We really were not having a great time. I figured we knew not. that. He's yeah. saying that to suck up right now, but the village was the missing the women. <laughs> the four of us completely enjoyed ourselves. Y'all the did. village was well, missing I think the y'all women. Y'all did initially. Telling. Initially, y'all did, but by Thursday show, no, y'all no, was sounding I can tell you sad. by Tuesday. <laughs> I was going. I just want to tell you. I'm, I was here. I'm gonna tell you. He was missing by that Tuesday. Look we was like. The, we're the village, the we're village hungry. has no women. <laughs> right, we're who gonna hungry. cook up? Who gonna cook the fish? <laughs> who gonna make the beds up after we done got up? That's I mean, true. The we did eat, has we no ate women. a lot of pizza last week. <laughs> we did, man. So you know, you gotta have this, the women. The green room's a mess. It's uh, just being the mess. village. Yes, the well, village. Mess. The village gotta have women. That's all. Mm-hmm. We, that's all we're saying right we now. We agree yeah. with that, and yeah. we can do it without men. Yeah, so but y'all want to go on y'all, y'all can tell y'all selves that all you want. <laughs> y'all you can tell yourselves that all Jesus, you want to. Jamil and I will take Whatever, it. man. Give us our own week. <laughs> look, look, on both sides, don't buy into any of that hype. Men, men, you cannot do without women. Amen. Women, you cannot do without yes, men. Like, no, you cannot. You cannot. Women, you're not having any Jamil withdrawals, and y'all like, no, but I could hear that era, That whole era of of women don't need a man stuff is gone. That's yes, over. Done with. The door. No. Huh? <laughs> the door. Wow. Whatever. Who's going to pull out our chair? Yeah. Who's going to pay the bill? Men, will put here, men and women were put here that each need each other. So don't, don't, I don't want to hear How no do we get that. to this? Y'all are happy that I'm back. We're happy that you're back. No, we're just saying we're happy that all, both of y'all Yay. are back. Yay. It was just we like. Diesel. Yeah, what Diesel would be, we're, we're going to see Diesel Should in a little while. a little bit later. Yeah, but. Um, then we have all the women back and the show is complete. Yes. Week. Last week we were an empty show. Not empty. We are missing one person. We were half full. We don't have to be rich for the first time in the history, in the history of this show. His Aww. impeccable reputation. Yep. He just broke it. <laughs> just flushed down yes. the toilet. Exactly right. <laughs> all for nothing. With the everything else. One of us. <laughs> <laughs> which, is, which is indicative of our society though. If you know, if you on time all the time, Everybody notices the one time you're late. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why nobody jumps up and down when he's on time? He's here. He's here. He's here. <laughs> we don't really and then care. Then when you get to work late, everybody got something bad <laughs> right. to say. It goes on your record and your file. 
I mean, you've right. you been on time for 23 years. They were like, oh, well. And you late. It's like, but well, I'm, I'm going to have to put that in your file. You know, but today. Really. What? Yeah. You're today. getting written up you know? for this. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's like, what have you done for me lately? You're only as good as this moment. <laughs> That's true. Right. That's so, very true. So be rich. You slacker. Slacker, slacker. Don't, I, I AWOL, bet, I bet I'm going to text from him here in a little bit. I'm going to be gone all week. <laughs> MIA, AWOL, you better not come back with no more children. Please. Right. Maybe Society that's what he's doing. Society cannot handle it. Maybe, no, exactly. Let's not. Maybe he's finding the next one. No, let's talk <laughs> wow, about okay. Well, we got a great show planned for y'all. As usual, we got the Pimp Minute. We got Anthony Andrews, who had a birthday over the weekend, so he's not with us either this week because I think he's recuperating but he turned that's my oldest and he turned 33 on the Wicked Saturday. Witch of the West and uh, because of those socks you know <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna get you for that <laughs> but um, yeah but uh, 33 so um, happy birthday to him if he's listening although I've told him all, all weekend long but anyway did y'all do anything cool over the weekend uh, you can do nothing Jamil you just, well the fashion show was over the weekend fashion show was hot and then uh, I went in the studio I've been in the studio several yeah, times we were over in the, the weekend studio. doing some stuff yeah had yeah. some um, rehearsal for the Phenomenal Follies United Way Phenomenal Follies is coming up we'll be talking more about that in the coming weeks so I've been busy man I'm ready to mm-hmm. like exhale and relax you've been dragging me all over the place with you too I know man, man. it's just it's like Batman and Robin yeah, now it's, it's to, the Batmobile, to the Batmobile to the Batmobile we should get a Batman <laughs> where's the Batzam when we need it right, right. we need, need Batzam bat bat I'm gonna call Jamon up after the show we need the Batzam so this was the real. bat cave last week yeah. yeah no it was just a it was, it was a like cave men yeah. it was like cave men of it they weren't even sophisticated we need to like make sure we listen to this over and over again how much they missed us alright right. you'll right. never let's, hear it let's again let's go you'll never I hear already it again. knew it anyway also on the show today we've got um, Sean Elliott and Vita Joyner who are going to come here to talk about an awesome song and a movement that they got going on and Phil Spinner is going to be here to talk about the Lights Camera Lynchburg new competition that just launched so let's get it popping the Tony Cam show is on your radio you're listening to the Tony Cam Radio Show on Hot 103.9. Okay, so we're in the studio with us right now. We have uh, some musical artists who are here for a very, very important purpose for our community. Sean Elliott is in the house. What's up? How you doing? How you doing, man? Doing good. And, uh, and you got uh, Vita Joyner, who is your grandmother. Yeah. Is that right? Then yeah. you must be like That's nine. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, man? You, I mean, you like twenty-eight. You ain't no twenty-eight. Vita, 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 you cannot be his grandmother. Good, clean living. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess so, man. Great thing, you know. He, but he, he got the voice like Chub Rock. Remember Chub Rock Why back he in the got day? To have a voice like he got Chub the voice Rock. like because because Chub Rock has that voice that you listen like you got to pay attention when he says something. Oh, okay. And it's very intellectual sounding. That's what I'm getting. Right thank now. you, thank you. All right. So you wrote a song. Yes, sir. Um, who will protect the innocent? And tell us a little bit about the song and the movement and what you're here to talk about. Well, the song was actually written a year ago mm-hmm. uh, due to some of the events that was going on relating child abuse and child abduction. And it seems like uh, as a community, as, as America, we sweep those subjects under the word under the rug to focus on um, bigger things that are going on. But when this is really a big thing, you know, and it doesn't seem big until you're the victim of it or know someone who's the victim of it. So mm-hmm. I, I, what inspired the song was as I wanted to speak out on it and bring that subject from under the rug and bring it to the light. So maybe as a community, we'll be more aware of if a child's screaming or something or something's going on, we, you know, our eyes are open mm-hmm. as a community instead of sweeping things under the rug and kind of turn like oh man it happened to them it won't happen to me right it could very well i'm a father myself mm-hmm. and uh i would hate you know, to know there's a community we're not doing everything we can to stop these predators from abusing our children wow this is very 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 admirable thing so you you wrote the song yes sir and produced it yeah I, um i was sitting in my bedroom one day and, I, and the stuff that was going on and the newspaper really moved me, and I called my grandmother, Vita, and I called her Mima, and I said, um, uh, Uh-oh, you got that name now, Mima. Uh, you it out there. Wait till I see you out in the street. Hey, Mima, hey, what's Mima. up? Everyone knows it's Mima. <laughs> and uh, I, I picked up my guitar, and I started plucking some chords uh, on my guitar and singing along. I, I'm not a great singer, so I called Mima. I said, Mima, check out this song. And she said, you know, 
I'm going to put a little twist to it, but I'd like what you got. It's real powerful. And her voice is pretty powerful. And when she started singing it and putting her twist to it, mm-hmm. I was like, man, that's a really good song. And then uh, I called up my friend uh, who's a local musician named Lonnie Day uh, to play guitar. He plays a lot better I than Lonnie. I do. Yeah, Lonnie's cool, man. Yeah, he, and uh, to this day, Lonnie helps with all my music. He said, Sean, I don't play. He's a cowboy. I play country and southern rock. And he said, Sean, these are cowboy chords. You're going to have to show me how to do it. And I said, me show you? Okay. <laughs> so um, Lonnie and I got together, and we put the song together, and, and he recorded it. Mm-hmm. And a, uh, a lot of people say, well, is this finished? Is it done? It is what it is. It's a statement. You yeah. know, you don't go take the president's speech and remix it to where it has drums and lead guitar, and then right. you, you take that speech for what it is. Sure, yeah. We're yeah. listening to some of it right now. So where can people hear this, um, hear your song? As of right now, uh, it's fairly new, uh, mm-hmm. us getting it out there. So as of right now, it's on YouTube. Uh, you can type in Who Will Protect the Innocent. Yes. And it's got a picture of little kids on it. And uh, my name is S.W. Elliott on there. So okay. We'll post it on the um, yeah. high page. Yeah. We'll get that up for now, you now, now, Vita, we're listening to the song now. So this is you singing, doing the vocals. Yes. Give us a little volume on that, Justin. We serve a God who is awesome and he's great. We serve a God who makes no mistakes. Sing it, Mima. All right, Mima, let's get it. You better do it. So, so all the lyrics are yours, and and so this is Lonnie playing the guitar. Yeah, that's Lonnie Day on okay. the guitar. Yeah, I know Lonnie. He's a great guy, man. Good musician. Yes. He so, is. um, where did you record? You just went in the studio and recorded it. That's actually done with just basic recording software. Really? Yeah. So in Meemaw's living room. Oh, folks, <laughs> right. Let's start to open up a new <laughs> studio. On the phone. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Meemaw's studio. It's Meemaw's a nice living song, room. Though. It is a very it's nice, nice song. Sounds good. So what are you all going to do with this song? I mean, what y'all going to do with it? Well, my goal with the song itself is to promote it, get it out there, get it heard. And I want that video and the lyrics to to sink in to the community and to mm-hmm. the public as this is a big issue. There's art, there's kidnappings, child abuse, child molestation going on that right. doesn't even get put in the newspaper right. sure. because... Uh, LeBron James just did a dunk and, mm-hmm. and it shocked the world. Right. You know? Exactly. And, you exactly. Know, or there's a bigger story over here, so let's get this story out there. And I'm not saying that doesn't take precedence over what we're trying to say. We're just trying to get it. It's it's out there. Mm-hmm. If I myself see a child in trouble, I'm going to do what I can to make sure that child gets the help they need. Absolutely. We need, I, more, we need more heroes like that, too. Yeah, I used to work as a counselor for trouble and abuse kids. And so I guess it's hit me a little bit more at home mm-hmm. when I look at these certain events going on in the news regard, regarding kids. Right, right. Gotcha. Well, awesome, man. Well, the song is great. Thank we you. love it. And um, we'll try to spend it here on the show Appreciate occasionally, it. too. But um, people can view it on YouTube. And I know you did say where they could find more yeah, information. Yeah, it's, right. it's under Who Will Protect the Innocent. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Look that up on YouTube, people, and Jamil will put it on yeah, we'll Facebook, on, our, on the Hot 103.9 Facebook page. Okay. But thank you all for coming in. Vita, do you have anything else you want to talk about or you just want to sign? I'm just proud. I'm proud of him. Uh-huh. I can tell. I'm looking at you now. You're just glowing she, all over the she place. Like, that's my baby. That's my baby right there. That's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Nicole and, um, not Nicole, Courtney's in the studio. The one, the one word name <laughs> up in here. You want to just say hello or something? <laughs> she's the one that put it all together about you being on the show here today so I figured she should say something so anyway guys thanks for coming on the show thanks worthy calls me. keep Thank doing you. what you're doing wonderful stuff everybody Sean Elliott and Vida Mimo. <laughs> if you want to be a guest on the Tony Cam show send an email to radio at camentertainment.com